looking back on that day, that's the best tornado I've ever seen in my life. The, it was the most photogenic, it was the most intense. When I was staring straight at the middle part of the Manchester tornado, I wasn't even looking at the base anymore, I was staring at the top, because that, that, that part looked like it was expanding the most. And I was just getting kind of worried. I'm in control of, of our lives, so to speak. You know, I'm the one that needs to make sure that I'm hitting the gas pedal when I, when I need to. So in that sense, I was nervous because I had never seen anything like this before. Oh I hit the gas and we started going in reverse to avoid being hit by any part of the tornado or any debris for that matter, just to be safe. The tornado is moving from my perspective right to left, right across the road, and it's just about to hit the town of Manchester. Oh God! I hope they're okay. Please be okay. When the tornado hit the house, it sounded like an explosion. And then you can actually see first the roof flies out in the air. And then sort of all at once the the walls and everything else that may have been connected to the house just goes up in the air and just st starts to shred up. And all the debris up in the air, all over the place. After the tornado hit the house, it continued moving north. It turned into a, a tight rope tornado and hit a couple farms in the town of Manchester. And you could continue to see debris getting lifted up in the air and just floating around in the air because it, it, the tornado kept on hitting uh, structures. There were a lot of uh, scattered farmhouses in that area. Fourth, 2003, I saw a half mile wide wedge tornado destroy the town of Manchester, South Dakota. It's about the closest I've ever gotten to such a large tornado. It was the most intense experience I've ever had.